Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be giving you a video tour of my HTC Evo 4G LTE running CyanogenMod 10. So this is a custom fully rooted ROM for HTC Evo 4G LTE and dozens of other devices. So I went ahead and installed this custom ROM because I was really tired with HTC Sense. Their overlay looks good, it's much nicer compared to the overlay that other manufacturers install onto their devices, but it was just so bloated. It was so heavy on resources. It was kind of slow and sluggish everywhere. It really brought down the battery life of the device. So I looked into a custom ROM and CyanogenMod seems to be the most stock experience that you can get for a custom ROM. So it's fast, it has great battery life, and it looks great. The stock Android experience is really simple, it's really clean, it's much better than what HTC decided to do. So let me go back to the lock screen real quick. Here it is, it's completely stock. I didn't change the wallpaper or anything like that. Here's my home screen. There are no widgets here because I don't really care for widgets too much. I don't really have anything to use them for. But here are all of the applications. Along the dock, I have phone messaging, the all apps button, Gmail, and Chrome. I also have four folders right above those. So starting from left to right, here's my stock folder with all of the stock applications. Here in the social folder, I have Facebook, Falcon Pro for Twitter, Foursquare, Instagram, and Skype. In the games folder, I don't really play games on this phone, but I do have Fruit Ninja Free, Let's Golf 3, Mutant Roadkill, Steam Mobile, and Super Stickman Golf. Lastly, in the other folder, I have A-Torrent, Apollo Music Player, Dropbox, eBay, ES File Explorer, Newegg, Speed Test, Super User, and Swift, or excuse me, Swift TP, which turns my phone into a FTP server, so I can transfer files to the device wirelessly through FTP. Now, if I go back to the All Apps menu, there are only two pages of apps. I went ahead and thankfully, since it's rooted, I manually removed the applications that it did not want. So only two pages of apps and all of these applications are put right here onto my home screen within their own respective folders. So I never actually have to go to the all apps page to get to an application that I want. So very nice. Everything is organized very well and I have exactly what I want. I don't have anything that the carrier installs. I don't have anything that I cannot remove because thankfully I'm rooted. I have full control over my device. If we head over to the settings app, here's what it looks like. It's completely stock. You don't have any sort of overlay that the manufacturer decided to put on top of the settings app of all apps that they could mess with. And it looks nice. Everything is very organized. I can find exactly what I'm looking for without any issues. It scrolls up and down much smoother than with the HTC Sense 4 Plus overlay. And CyanogenMod 10 is based off of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, as you can see here. So here's the little Easter egg. Works just fine. Now I do believe that CyanogenMod 10.1 is based off of Android 4.2. So if you want to be on the cutting edge of Android OS's, then that's what you should look into. However, they are not supporting it on the HTC Evo 4G LTE at this time. However, it is available for a number of other devices, such as the Galaxy S3 and a number of other ones. Now, ever since I installed CyanogenMod 10 a couple of days ago, I've been really impressed with it, especially compared to the stock ROM that HTC gives you. This is much faster, it gives you a big improvement in battery life, and it makes your phone so much more enjoyable to use because you don't have all this crap that you can't get rid of pre-installed onto your device. Likewise, ever since I got the Galaxy S3 for review back in August for my other channel, I've seriously been considering getting a different device. Yes, I got the iPhone 5. Do I regret it? Quite a bit, actually, because we're still waiting for a jailbreak. Because of this, we can't customize our devices the way we want them to. Or, excuse me, the way we want to, not what they want to do, because they already do that and it's very locked down. So, because there's no jailbreak, we can't customize our devices. We can't get rid of apps that we don't want. 
can't get rid of newsstand. Of course, you, there are ways to do that, but they're a little weird. And I have been reconsidering iOS. It's a very boring operating system. It's been this way since its release. Will iOS 7 fix this? Nobody's going to know for a couple of more months. But with the way things are right now, with the way Apple has been in the past, I doubt anything big is going to come to the iPhone or the operating system that the phone runs. I've come as far as to wanting to trade my iPhone with a Galaxy S3 with people on Craigslist because there are a lot of people who are willing to get rid of their Galaxy S3 for an iPhone 5. I don't know why, because to be honest, you could do so much more things with Android. It's just amazing to think that Apple is so locked down. But anyway, this could be a topic for another video or a written post or a podcast episode for that matter. But that was my video tour and sort of rant regarding the HTC Evo 4G LTE. Overall, I really do enjoy this ROM. It's so clean, it's as stock as it can get, and it works very well, and it makes me want to use this device over my iPhone 5. It, it really does. That's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.